another mission just flown in and the cloud is lifted which is good what's the plan for today oh well we'll sneak up along this ridge over here and then we'll just glass as we go and then hopefully pick up a couple of shams and might even be the odd uh, deer floating around so just do a lot of glassing and looking and hopefully something will come along yeah third time trying to get in here so yeah yeah, well, it's been a while, isn't it? Like, yeah. It's been, been so, a bit of a mish to get into here. Yeah, September was the first plan, and then it was wet. And then we went to come in the other day, and it was wet. Mm, so now... So, we're in. Hopefully there's some good animals floating around. Fine weather. Yes. yes. Long may the fine weather last. And it's up to you, Lucy. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure, <laughs> yeah. You're right there. <laughs> So what we're looking for, Lucy, is um, see some chamois. Check out when their ears are standing up, um, upright. And look at their their horns, and um, their horns are well above their upright ears. If that makes sense, and um, you know we're onto something. And um, depending how far above the ear it is, is of course it's obviously bigger. You know, just to be a bit careful with does because they can be very long but skinny. Hard to distinguish, so but anyway, we just um, that's what we're looking for. Or uh, be a lighter color this time of year, so anything sort of pale and creamy, lightish, tannish, will stick out. So, yeah, cool. cross glass as we move along the ridge here and keep your eyes open. Fingers crossed. <clears throat> Look behind you. Hi. Right. <laughs> the cover. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey. Right. Come on. Fight the hand. Come on.
to gear up. It's a bit cold. <gasps> mm. Summer's gone. Yep. Shimmy got 413 yards. There's a group of four or five of them. Bit of a hard spot to get to though if we're going to shoot one. Good to see. Oh, truly. See how white they are, eh? Yeah. Creamy. Just making our way back to be eight shimmy seen today, so not too bad. Right, we've got a shammy way over there, and he's like millions of miles away. <laughs> I was even surprised I even picked him up, but it was just the light was right. You can see his colouring. But anyway, he's too far for us today. But uh, it's like, I don't know, God, it'd be two k's away, miles away. Oh, yes. There you go, we'll leave him on the hill. He's in the <laughs> sun now. <laughs> Just spotted a hind and a yearling, do you reckon it is? Dead? Uh -huh. yeah. Hind and a yearling? Oh, yes, yeah, we have. Yep, now it's good to see. Yep, just on the ridge line. Just in there. I was just thinking, man, it would be nice to see an animal on the ridge. And then two popped out. What are the chances? Oh, that. And a four, four seventy six from here. You're on quite a steep angle. You'll come down the ridge, drop off, and then we'll come out over on this little ridge down here. And then we can have another rear anyway. right? And see what you want to do. Sounds right. Sounds good. Once we got into a better position, we got the camera on this group of chamois and they were all does with kids, so we decided to leave them. These does were 380 yards away with amazing eyesight. They spotted us not long after this video was taken and fled. So we packed up and started the slog back up the hill along the ridge and then down to the river. In the dog box. In the dog box, all right. She's a bit tight. It's better than a bloody tent. It's yep. good though. Kind of. <laughs> it's just breaking the bread up. Oh well. Oh well. Got me soup and toast. It's looking good. For dinner. Toast is cooking on me. <clears throat> Toaster? <laughs> What's for your dinner? Me, I've got good old dehoy, nothing Basic. fancy, and then I've got treats. I've got uh, I'm get it sorted. A bit of apple crumble. Look at that. Nice. Sorted. Okay. Do you want another brew? Or? Yep. Beautiful morning. 
and the pretty epic sunrise. So I've got you sitting in there because it's uh, a bit windy. It's blowing an east over here, so very windy and cold. But hopefully it should be a good day. be a nanny. She's alone up there but she um, squatted for a pee so we'll leave this one I think. Anyway, it's in some good country. We'll keep looking. Nice. I'll zoom back out. Good to see. So up over the ridge behind us here in the far ground on the skyline um, down in, the, in a gut down there um, the colours back in the day uh, I think they had the record for the most deer shot in one day which was over a hundred or something I'd have to check up in the facts but it's, um, it just shows you how many deer were around here at the time there were heaps of them Good find from dad here, just some crystals. I've actually been wanting to see this out in the tops for a few years now, so nice to finally come across some. Sorting lunch for tomorrow. Trying something new for lunch. I'd actually brought these for the raw last year, but after COVID, I didn't really have much of an appetite, so they just got carried around the hill. So it was nice to finally have them. Yep. You go up, there's this thing going, woo! <laughs> just had dinner. It's blowing an easterly again. And we're just glassing. Um, seeing if we can see anything. And then tomorrow we'll make a decision on whether we go up or downstream and then be back at the biv by four ish get flown out at six hopefully so fingers crossed something stumbles across our path tomorrow it's a beautiful evening despite the wind Just showing off now. Yeah. <laughs> Rodeo. All squared away, ready for bed. Yep. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Well. See you at five thirty. Squished in here. Brew time. Upstream, and we have the evening sign alive. Right. So we're just sitting here enjoying the sunshine, having our lunch. Hopefully, we see something pop out on the way back down. Yeah, it's crossing. I think it's seen two trampers. Yeah. Yeah. We keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Pick up at six. What's the time now? Uh, about half eleven. Oh, uh, yeah. Half eleven. Yeah. Um, the wind's very light, but if anything I might have put them off the sign coming up to them rather than the, east, the light easterly we've been having. Yeah, 
change direction. Oh well, plenty of time to still cause some damage. Yeah, yeah wow. <laughs> very true. Bring up the guts. See the red marker there? Yeah. Up onto where that is. And then so you can see the white marker next and just follows that spur up. Yep. Sweet, back up we go. In the heat. In the heat. <laughs> Long time of the day to be doing this. Anyway. Pretty impressive. So, a bit of target practice. Dad's just getting set up. So we've put in 12. Done. Calculate. It's wind hold of 8.3 right into the wind. Okay, so we've got a dial 21. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I don't know, I think we'll go. Doesn't matter which one. Two dots there, yeah. white dots. I'll go for the um, I'll go for the bottom one, eh? Yeah. If you have a look, you can see these white dots a bit better here. Uh, Dad is just aiming for the bottom right one. That's how it's done. One dead rock. Good job. So when you've got a good cheek weld, mm -hmm. it's it's not moving around. And if you let everything just relax, the rifle is pointing in the in the right direction, pretty pretty close to it, as in where you want the sights. You don't want to be going muscling it over and holding it there. The mm -hmm. way that you can do it is if you want to check. Get it all right, so you're on the, you know, you count your eight marks out. Yeah. Count eight marks. Go. Right. Just and, and relax. Sort of let the rifle go a wee bit. You're still supporting it, but just uh, don't tight. Uh, what what what's the word I'm after? You mu relax your muscles. Just but you you're don't still holding like, it. You don't want to be gripping it. Yeah, you don't want to be gripping it. And close your eye. All right, and just relax there. Then open your eye and see where you're pointing. If it's way off, it means that you're you're talking the rifle, and that means you'll miss. Okay. Okay. So just just have a practice with that. Hi. Just a bit though. Isn't too bad. By the look of it, I'd have to watch it again. Just to put in perspective how far the shot really is, here you go. We got back to the bivvy a couple hours earlier than expected, so we let Phil know and he ended up coming in around 3.30ish to get us. Although we didn't walk away with the chamois, we had an epic trip in an awesome part of the west coast. 
as Dad always says, you can be shooting good groups down the range, but out in the bush you have so many variables that can impact that shot. It's been a while since I've fired such a long shot, so revising that technique and being able to practice in that easterly wind and kind of managed to pull it off was a highlight. With only a few weeks until the raw, it's time to get planning and packing for the next adventure. See you next time.